Hey guys, so this video I'm going to be discussing the ending we got of 802, my theories about it, um, and what I think is going to happen related to Joe for the rest of the season. If you haven't seen 802, obviously, click off the video and come back after you watch it. If you haven't seen 801, probably come back and rewatch it, rewatch this video. Um, because obviously this video will be spoilers for the two episodes. I'm assuming by now, if you haven't seen 802 and you want to watch it, you should have already watched it by now. That's why I'm doing this video now. So, yeah, because I have a feeling someone's going to be like, you just spoiled the episode for me. You had a whole week to watch it. <laughs> so that's your fault. Just saying. Just saying. You haven't seen it. That's your problem. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm doing this video now. I've seen other people doing it. I'm not really giving a crap <laughs> about whether or not you've seen it too. So, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, hit the button down below the sky if you're new. And uh, enjoy this video. So, in 801... We kind of got teased a little bit about what was going on in the West Fam with Cecile, Iris, and Team Flash in general. Um, and in 802, it kept on going, and we learned more about it. And it was dropped that Joe died May 23rd, 2021. So something I want to point out is that in Season 3, Iris died on May 23rd. I don't remember what the year was, 2017 or something. But... That was the year Iris died in Savitar's storyline. And now, in this timeline, Joe's dead. I believe Joe is dead. Uh, I truly believe he is dead. I know a lot of you think this is an illusion in Barry's head. I know a lot of you think this may be a new timeline. I'm going to talk about that right now. <laughs> I've seen a lot of you saying this could be Desperate playing with Barry's head. It could be, but here's why it's not. And this is from my point of view, what I'm thinking as I'm reading this. What's more the log What's more of a logical answer here? Despero is playing with Barry's head. Which wouldn't make sense really at all, if you think about it. Because Barry believes Joe is alive. This isn't the case where... Everyone in the world believes Joe is alive and Barry's believing Joe is dead. No, it's the exact opposite. If Destro was playing with Barry's mind, that would mean the entire world would believe that Joe West is dead and that Despero wouldn't be playing with Barry's head, but instead the entire world. Does that, does that really, that doesn't make any sense. Despero wouldn't be putting in the Barry's head that Joe is alive and making everyone around him, everyone around him, saying that Joe was is dead. It, it, that, that wouldn't be a thing. Saying that Barry's attacking the city, putting it all into his head, making the whole world see it? That, that, that's not, a, that's not, no. <laughs> that, that's not putting something in the Barry's head. That's Despero putting a, a illusion into the entire world's head. Which he could very well be doing. But at the same time. Is it the more logical answer? No it's not. That is nowhere near logical. It's not. The more logical answer. Is. I could argue one of two things. One. We're in a new timeline. I'll talk about how in a minute. Or two. Barry killed him. <laughs> Look where we're at with Barry right now. He's blacking out. He nearly killed Chester and Resting Flash. He destroyed the loft. He attacked the city, injuring probably thousands. Nearly killed all those people. He attacked his own city, and he didn't remember it. He attacked his own team. He didn't remember it. In 802, we saw Barry not remembering Joe was dead. In 801, you could see a little bit of that. Which would mean this memory thing has been going on for a while. And unless a non-speedster killed Joe, why didn't Barry save him? Can, can anyone get what I'm... What I'm trying to say is if Barry knew that Joe was going to die May 23rd, 2021, which was a little bit after the Godspeed War... After that whole thing ended, after Reverse Flash left. And then Barry and Iris renewed their vows. Joe was there. 
that whole thing happened. And then Joe died shortly after. What's... If Barry knew Joe was going to die, and it was by a non-speedster, right? Barry could have saved him. But we know Barry is faster than everyone right now, besides Godspeed, who we know is in prison. That didn't change. So, unless Thawne killed him, and Barry didn't know, which why would Barry not know? <laughs> I think, like I said, it's one of two things. Either we're in a new timeline, or Barry killed him. I think the second one is very much so more likely than Despero putting something in Barry's head, making the whole world believe that Joe's dead just to get to Barry. Because, again, like I said, look at what Barry's doing right now. He's lost his memory. He's blacking out. He's attacked his own city, his own team, his friends. He's probably going to attack Black Lightning next episode from when it looked like in the promo photos. I mean, he's turning evil, and he can't remember it. Whether or not it's done or not, it's happening. <laughs> like, we see it in the episode. We saw it in 801, in the future. We see it in the trailer <laughs> for 803. Just a little bit, but if you look closely, you can see him turning evil. It, it, it's... I don't want to believe that Barry would kill Joe, but at the point in time we're at with Barry right now, it's really not a far-out stretch. Now, the first point I brought up was we're in a new timeline. This option is like 90% sure it's a possibility more than the other one <laughs> that I brought up. I truly believe one, it's one of those two things, but the timeline one's very more likely than the other one, which is that Thawne changed the timeline to get to Barry. In the comics, Thawne took Barry's face. He had plastic surgery, Changed his face to look like Barry, and then wore the Flash suit, and became the Reverse Flash. And that's his origin story. He couldn't be the Flash, so he took over his face, took over who he was, ran around the world as a Flash, made everyone believe he was, did horrible things, and then became the Reverse. The Reverse Flash, <laughs> in the comics. That's how it goes. And... We didn't get that yet in the show. This would be the perfect time to do it, honestly. So, we need to figure out, one, why Barry's losing his mind. I think it's honestly because Thawne's taking over. It's slowly taking over, but it's happening. That's why he's turning evil. And we're just in a new timeline. In which Barry's inevitably going to have to reset at the end of Armageddon to bring Joe back. Which will inevitably cause Flashpoint. Kind of, in a way. I don't know, because we didn't really see that. But, I mean, it's not like it's impacting Barry or Iris' kids. What's happening now is not impacting Bar and Nora. What it would cause... Dr. Kid, we're already in a flashpoint. If Joe's dead, which we know he is, but... I don't know. It's a bunch of <laughs> screwed up crap. Either we're in a new timeline or Barry killed him. I think those are the only two options we can see right now. Honestly. I don't see Despero just playing with Barry's head. And making everyone around him say that, oh, Joe's dead. What would that do to Barry? I, what, that make him go psycho? He's already going psycho. Despero wouldn't just make the whole world. Which again, it wouldn't be an illusion in Barry's head. It being an illusion in everyone's mind. Because he had to make the whole world believe that Joe's dead to tell Barry that so that he does lose his mind. Like, what's the more logical answer there? I don't see Despero doing that. And I'm not saying I believe Despero is a good guy. While I do think he's trying to do a good thing, he's just not succeeding at it. I don't think Despero would just go out of the way, make the whole entire world believe that Joe West is dead just to get Barry to go full on psycho. I don't think that's the case. And even before Barry found out Joe was dead, he still attacked the city. He still attacked Team Flash. There is no reason to put in the entire world's head that Joe West is dead just to push Barry over the edge that he already went over. 
It, there, there's no reason for that. If this scene happened earlier in the episode before Barry attacked the city, maybe that would be a good point to bring up. But this was after Barry already attacked the city. It makes no sense for that to be the case. At all. <laughs> it, it really doesn't. So, it, there, there's a plot hole in that. <laughs> and if the show's really going to go down that route, they're kind of screwed. But I truly believe the writers know what they're doing now, <laughs> even, even though it took like seven years. I think they truly know what they're doing with what we want from the show. I don't think they're going to do that. I think what they're going to do is either make it so Barry killed Joe or it's a new timeline. The new timeline seems more of a viable option than Barry killing Joe. But again, look where Barry's at. He's losing his mind. He doesn't remember what he's, what he's done. He's attacking his own friends, his team, his city. I, it's very much so possible that Barry killed Joe. And he just doesn't remember it. And he didn't tell anyone because why would he tell anyone? <laughs> I mean, even if, like, you know, for Barry's view... It could just be he was sleeping one night, his mind got taken over, he ran out, killed Joe, and got back in a second, like that, and didn't even realize that he did it because he was moving so fast, he just killed him in a heartbeat, and woke up next morning, Joe's dead, no one knows how. I mean, that could very well be what happened. Because I would assume it'd be at night, because why the hell would it be during the day? Because normally, any... Death on Team Flash is during the day. <laughs> I mean, if you really think about it, Henry died during the day, during the night. Barry's mom died during the night. Iris in season three died at night. <laughs> HR died at night. I mean, all the Team Flash deaths have happened at night. <laughs> so why wouldn't Joseph be at night? And again, it would be a good cover up. Barry wouldn't know. Like I said, he could be sleeping at that point in time. He snuck out. His mind was taken over. He ran off. Killed Joe, went back. Iris didn't notice because he's moving so fast. I mean, it, it could be one of those many things that the show does. I wouldn't mind it, but at the same time, this would change Barry not killing people, <laughs> even if he was being taken over by Thawne. Which, I mean, again, Thawne nearly killed the entire city, if that is Thawne. <laughs> we need to know how long it's been going on. I think that's a problem that they haven't established yet. How long has Barry been losing his mind? Is it just started now? Or has it been going on for several months? I don't see this being a thing that, oh, Despero's here, let's make him have complete mind wipe of whatever happened. Or lose certain moments in, throughout his time. No, I, I don't see that being the case. I see this brushing up on days to come. I told you to still San Francisco in season three, but <laughs> I, I see this being a full out plan that's been in place for months. By Thawne. And Barry's been experiencing this. For months. But he didn't realize it till now. Till Despero came in. And Barry was actually around Team Flash. When it happened. And Thawne is just taking over Barry. More and more and more and more. Now that Despero is here. Because what he did in the future. I think that's what's going on. I don't want to believe Joe's dead. I, I really don't. But, he is. <laughs> I think, I, I know there's a lot of people who want to say he's alive. Like I said earlier, I know there's a lot of you who want to say it's Der Despero's playing the game with Barry. I already gave you like several points as to why that can't even happen. <laughs> I believe the more logical answer is one of two things as I said. New timeline or Barry killed him. We have to wait till 803, I guess, to find out. That or 804. But, I do believe Barry... Did something to screw with everyone. Whether or not that was killed Joe or something to change the timeline. Thawne took advantage of that and now he's taking over. But seeing Barry's reaction that was going on for six months. And him not wondering if Joe's dead. I mean, you saw his reaction in 801 and 802. Joe's been dead for six months. Barry had no idea. For six months. Now, you can argue that's bad writing. I don't think it is. I think what the more logical answer is... Either Barry... Just no one reacted around Barry about Joe. 
And we've been stuck in this timeline for six months, but Barry never knew until now, six months after, which could be the case. And like I said, no one just reacted about Joe around Barry. But then the line from Iris saying that Barry gave the eulogy at Joe's funeral, and he's not remembering that, which you would remember that. If you ever given a eulogy at a funeral, it's pretty damn memorable. <laughs> I mean, it, it's one of those things that it just doesn't add up. Either Fawn took over Barry and gave the eulogy, and we're in a, the original timeline. We're in the timeline that's been with us since Christ and the and Nurse ended. We're in that exact timeline. Even now, if that is the case, then this means it's been going on for several months and Barry didn't find out because Thawne was careful and he never showed any remorse for Joe to be connected to Barry's or Joe's death to be connected to Barry. So whenever someone would bring up Joe around Barry, maybe Thawne took over Bear and said all this emotional crap that he didn't really mean and here we are six months later, Barry still has no idea. Or, <laughs> yes, or, or, 801, a new timeline set in where Joe died and Barry just now found out two days later. That could also be the case. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My mind, I think, exploded like a, I think I lost like 20 brain cells in the last five minutes. <laughs> just saying. But there's so many possibilities this can go. At least the lead up to it. Again, Joe's death can be one of two things, which is new timeline or Barry killed him. But the lead up to it could be like a billion different things. Honestly, it could be. Either Barry's so fast he's coming up with the timeline, he doesn't affect the timeline changes. Because, for example, we know other speedsters, like if Thawne changed the timeline, Wally, he'd be affected. Barry, he would be affected normally, but maybe because Barry's speed is so fast that he's able to outrun that, no pun intended, outrun the timeline changes and not be affected. I, I, don't, I don't see how that could go. So either we're in a new timeline or Barry killed him. <laughs> it was Thawne as Barry and he killed him. And he's just been mind punking Bear, and it's not just for this whole time, it's Thawne for six months. And that's why it's so bad as it is, why Thawne created Armageddon, why he destroyed the world in the future, why he sent Despero there, why he planned for it at least. I, I don't know why I said sent, but why he planned for Despero to go back and to kill Barry, so that Despero could fully take over Barry and become a better, quote-unquote, a better reverse Flash. Meaning, he would be at the Flash's level, which would be dangerous, even for Barry. <laughs> and I think we all know that. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, it, it's going to be a very, I think, emotional in some ways. An interesting episode on Tuesday. If they're going to bring up Joe... It'll be very emotional, especially because we need to know how he died. And I think they need to establish that. Even if they didn't, even if he's not really dead and he comes back, I think we still need to know what the hell happened to Joe. Was it Barry's fault or was it just, you know, something bad happened and Barry couldn't be there? Like, was it one of those things? We need to know that. <laughs> I think that could really help whether or not this is a new timeline or Barry killed him. Or, if you really want to believe the illusion crap, that's for playing Barry's head. Which, again, I really don't believe, because it makes no sense to me. <laughs> that's just me. I don't know. And, yeah. <laughs> um, my Flash 803 review will be out Tuesday night. I'm going to spend a little bit more time trying to make it the best possible review I can be. Um, so, it might be out a little bit later than normal. I'm going to be trying something new with it. So, I'm very excited to try it, at least. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, look forward to that. If you like went down below, sky if you're new, if you enjoyed the video. Um, I might have a Flash video going out Monday. I don't know, though. We'll see. It depends what happens. But definitely next video will be Tuesday night after the 803 has aired. And then uh, Wednesday or Thursday might be another Flash series video. 
or news video if something happens. We'll talk about it whenever it comes out. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And uh, stay safe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.